just say uh, good morning to our listeners this morning. Yes, uh, good morning. Thank you for listening. It's for radio. I'm so happy. Okay. All right. I haven't seen her that big a smile in all my years. Me either. I, <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, I saw that one like 26 years ago. 26 years ago when we married, you know. Okay. And she, now she's got another big smile. Yeah. All right. Good. All right. We need to do this more often. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, you came in. In fact, Brenda, you come to the microphone. Uh, oh, you're taking video. Okay. All right. You came in. And I just mentioned, I said, uh, Enrique, we're praying about something. And I told you the story about the possibility of the Spanish program. And folks, if you could see the, the look on he and Marcella's face that Sunday afternoon, it's been about, what, three months ago, something like that. Yeah, it was on a Sunday around four in the afternoon. Okay, you remember that, don't you? Oh, yeah, I can't believe it. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yes. And uh, you just kind of, when I said uh, there's a possibility of, of uh, starting Spanish station, and we want to pray about that. And you just kind of looked at me with a a stare on your face. And tell our listeners why you did that. We found out later why you weren't really surprised. Well, it was not a, a big surprise for me because a week before that, uh, I had that word from Brother Diego Perea. He told me about it. He said, uh, I just want to let you know, be ready, because very soon... Now, who is that? Is he from... He's uh, one of the inmates. From Madison? Yes. Okay. And Madison, he, yeah. he told me, uh, you have to be ready because very soon you're going to have the, we're going to have the Hispanic program full time. And then the same day in the afternoon, Sister Rosario, she told me, she said, you know, I've been praying because I know very soon we're going to have the Hispanic program full time. And I, I would just look at her and I said, okay, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. Well, Victor and Rosario Medina. And you come to the microphone and just give testimony, and uh, you're excited about this as well. And you've been helping on Saturday. You volunteer and, and come and on Saturday night and help with the Spanish program. Uh, let's have ladies first. You come and, and uh, just share your, from your heart this morning how God is, uh, has blessed you and, and uh, what your feelings are. Good morning. My name is Rosario Medina. I am so excited because uh, 12 years ago when we arrived uh, here in uh, in Tallahassee, from, we were in the mission field in San Pedro Sula, Honduras, and we arrived here, and the first thing that we noticed is that there was not a Spanish uh, Christian radio. And my husband, Victor, and I started traveling because we are intercessors. And the Lord brought us here specifically to travel for the city of Tallahassee. And uh, I said, Lord, we are going to see a Christian Spanish radio. And but never, we dream or imagine that we were going to be involved in this ministry. My husband would call uh, Enrique and, uh, and Maricela to encourage them with al blanco por la palabra. And uh, God is amazing how when you pray without expecting, without any st uh, strings attached, he answers and he honors you too. I've heard you on Saturday night and, uh, and you do a great job on the radio so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this offer to you, all right? Now, Enrique is going to be on staff as our Spanish director, but uh, the Medina family, we're going to let you come anytime you want and volunteer your, your time, okay? Okay. All right. Is that good? Good. All right. Maybe we'll have some, uh, we'll have Brenda Beagle make some beef burritos or something like that for lunch. Would that be all right? All right. That's all right. Some tacos. Uh, or maybe my sister Veronica. Yes, I've heard about her. Okay. She's here, yeah. She's okay. Here. All right. Victor, you and uh, you come and uh, you've had a, a blessing uh, to be with uh, Brother Enrique and the team on Saturday night as well and share your thoughts. Yes, first of all, I want to give you thanks to Faith Radio because for us it's a blessing. I want to say thank you to you because you're a great man. You're doing great ministry. We're here for many years here in Tallahassee. I will give you thank you and we bless you with all our heart because you are a great man here in this city. I uh, thank you for uh, the opportunity to be in here with our brother Enrique and, and his, uh, his wife and Veronica and he, my wife and all of you guys. And I be no, so wait a minute. The, the, the Spanish, Hispanic people don't say all you guys, do they? No. No? No. Muchachos, muchachos. Sí. Uh, amigos. Amigos. Okay. All right. Also, he, we bet he's been 
we've been working together. We're voluntary on the correctional. Yeah. On oh, yeah. one of the different uh, correctional institutions. Okay. Yeah, we'll be uh, working with the EMA and different correctional now. We're so happy we'll be in Madison and Jefferson. We have a big group in Madison, almost uh, uh, 65 people last Saturday, and some of them come to the Lord and repent. And we, we see the hand of the Lord working. And uh, thank you, everybody, say thank you for Faith Radio because they hear you every day and, and they feel great. They thank feel you. blessing. Thank and you. thank you, this is my work for all listeners. I, please, I ask you for help because God is good. God is doing an amazing thing. Thank you. Well, folks, in case you haven't figured it out, the big announcement is that Faith Radio, beginning officially on Monday morning, June 13th at 6 a.m. on 1070 a.m. Now, this is the a.m. station. will be an all-Christian Spanish station. Now, 1070 a.m. is a daytime station. And we have to go off at sundown, but we're going to broadcast on the internet 24 hours a day on the AM station. And we'll have a link there for Spanish as well as the English. And also we'll have uh, the phone number for audio now that people can call in. And another number they can call in to listen to the Spanish station. Enrique, what was exciting when I found out that many of our regular programs that we have already on Faith Radio, like David Jeremiah, Adrian Rogers, Chuck Swindoll, Focus on the Family, Unshackled, In Touch, Robbie's, many of those programs. Well, let's see, Tony Evans' program and Brenda Beagle's program we don't have in Spanish. Brenda's going to have to learn Spanish. <laughs> Spanish. Yeah, un poco. Poquito, poquito. Poquito, okay. So what we're planning on doing is having pretty much the same schedule. So in English on uh, you know all the FM stations will be David Jeremiah at 7.30 in the morning. You'll have on 1070 a.m. David Jeremiah at 7:30 in the morning in Spanish. In Spanish. And uh, so we're looking forward to that. We're praying. In fact, we we thought that uh, we had an FM signal that we we're going to have on 24 hours a day. And so far, we're working with the FCC that they have they have uh, dismissed that that plea for us. And we're still working on that. Hopefully, we'll hear something even this week about that. And folks, you pray that. Uh, with another FM signal beyond 24 hours a day. But in case that does not happen, it will be on the internet 24 hours a day and also on the phone 24 hours a day with the computer running the programming. Now, Enrique, you introduced a couple of other guests. Your, your sister. Uh, my sister, Veronica. Veronica, come to the microphone. And uh, you help on Saturday nights as well, and you have a big smile. You know, She's been a big support because uh, a couple of times we have to travel, we have to leave, and she's the one with Adrian. They was they covered us, and she's doing a good job. I'm doing an awesome job. Okay. <laughs> How much younger are you than Enrique? Um, one year. No, no, more than that. It's six years. <laughs> six years, even okay. though he doesn't want to accept it. Six all right, years. all right. <laughs> Well, share, share your feelings. Why do you have such a big smile on your face this morning? Well, because God is good. I mean, God, God has been good. I think uh, Faith Radio has been a blessing um, to my family, to my son Adrian especially, uh, who has been working along with Enrique. And I'm happy because I know there's a lot of people who has the need to listen to the Word or to the Spanish music, and they usually just wait for Saturdays to, you know, to listen for those two hours. Now, it is going to be amazing that they're going to have that blessing, that opportunity to hear to hear the radio, you know, the whole day in Spanish. So I, I think it's going to reach a lot of a lot of people. So well, good. I'm happy That's for that. That's why we're doing it. That's I, right. I know. That's why we're doing and it. And it's going to be a blessing. Well, one thing about the AM station now that people are going to realize, there's folks listening right now in uh, Lake City or Moultrie, Georgia or Port St. Joe. You won't be able to hear the AM station because it reaches about a 30-mile radius of Tallahassee during the day. And uh, so what we're going to do, Enrique, mm -hmm. all right, Saturday night program is going to continue, okay? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. From 6.30 to 8.30, Brother Victor, all right? Because that, that'll be all the FM stations reaching all throughout North Florida and South Georgia as well. 
and then we'll combine the internet between those two, our engineers working on that, and uh, it's going to be special. So Saturday night program will continue, but uh, seven days a week on 1070 AM will be all Christian Spanish programming. And it's a bless to have this uh, on the internet because just this weekend we have a somebody was listening in Holland. In uh, Holland. Again. In Holland. Yeah. And we have. They a speak call. Spanish in Holland. I thought it was well, Dutch. I think it's Hispanic person is there. And, uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, we they've been listening on the internet. But uh, it's a good start, you know. God is good, and I know by faith very soon we. We, we can reach the people in Lake City, Montreal, Georgia. Okay. I don't, but I don't know what God has in store. Maybe this might be the start of a Faith Radio Spanish Network. I don't know. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Also, I want to say thanks to all the people who support yes. uh, Faith Radio. Yeah. And we've been praying, and, and I'm sure there are more people will be involved. And that way, because, you know, it's how Faith Radio go, you know, by, by faith. That's right. And That's you know, right. In fact, uh, Brenda's in the studio doing video right now. We uh, kicked out. I mean, Brenda has been moved out of her office back into the conference room, and now her office is there, and we have taken her office and made the little studio for 1070 AM and also for the Spanish Network. And it looks good. It's almost all finished. Well, everything is new. Yeah, the so equipment is new. Yeah. One of these being told to the listeners and to other people, when God bless you, God never bless you in a small piece, you know, they give you a big bless, and everything is new, so it looks good. We have a, a, one of our good listeners, he's, he's been with you since the beginning, he's been listening every, he's taking video right now, do you want to talk on the radio this morning? All right. He's the, the first one called to the Hispanic program Come to the microphone. years ago. Come to the microphone. I don't speak English. A little, that's bit. A little bit, that's all right. That's all right. I don't speak English much either. <laughs> you want to hear my listeners. Good morning, everybody. Um, praise the Lord. Your name is? My name is Antonio Garay. And Antonio? Antonio Garay. And you've been no, listening? No, Antonio Banderas. Antonio Garay. Right. <laughs> and you've been listening to the, the program on Saturday night for since the beginning? Yes, yes. It's a, it's a blessing. Uh, uh, stay here and uh, start with uh, this minister. Because uh, this is a uh, big minister. We don't know uh, uh, the, the people listening in the world, no, not just in Tallahassee, it's in, in the world, because you, you got a radio uh, uh, across the, the internet, yeah. and a blessing for your life, for your wife, for this big minister, Faith Radio, oh, good. praise God, All right. and uh, for the uh, um, brother uh, Enrique Yanis, his wife, his family, He's a man's guy, his family's guy. He's uh, uh, Veronica and, and his, his younger uh, sister, much younger sister. Younger yeah. sister, yeah. Yes. And uh, uh, Adrian Rios and Veronica, um, um, the, uh, the um, supporter and the helper, yeah. Victor, uh, Pastor Victor Medina and his wife. It's, it's, it's a wonderful and, and, and uh, I, I'm very, very exciting. I, I'm very happy. Because God uh, is, is with us. Amen. God is with us. Well, Brother Enrique, you told me, and uh, now you've you've been here for in America for what twenty? You know, almost twenty two years. Twenty two years. You said that you know there. One thing when I when I thought about this, and we thought about uh, starting the Christian Spanish. Now it'll be all it'll be all Christian. Mm -hmm. There's not even any secular Spanish programming in the area, so. But you told me that there'll be people that are not even Christian, that are Hispanic people that speak the Spanish language. They'll tune in because they're hearing their language. Is that right? Yeah, uh, I heard some people listen to the on Saturday night because yeah. they like the music and they want to hear the the book. You know? Okay. And it's you know it's nice it, because one day I'm sure they will come to Jesus Christ. Amen. Enrique, we've got a few minutes. We're just taking time. Share a little bit about your personal testimony, how, uh, where you are from, you and your family, and how you came to America, and how you came to this area. And it's very interesting that we'll have a little article in, in the Faith Focus newsletter here in a couple of weeks. But share a little bit this morning. Well, uh, it's a long testimony, but let's make short. Uh, our goal was to go and live in Tampa, Florida. But when we went to Tampa... But you lived where? Where did you live? Mexico. Okay, right on the border? On the border of Matamoros. And we dropped from Matamoros to Tampa. And they never opened the doors for us. But it wasn't God's plan. 
But then, when we was on the way back to Mexico, we cried to Marcela, we need to go back to Mexico. We don't know this country, we don't know nobody. Uh, one of the little daughters, she wanted to use the bathroom in Quincy. And so we stopped in Quincy, and that way she can use the bathroom. And was when we meet uh, Mr. Paul Nicholson. And then we start to talk, he started to talk with us. Paul Nicholson, he's the one that owned the Nicholson Farm restaurant? Right, and yeah. also Paul's best friend. Paul's best friend, okay. So it was when we meet uh, Mr. Paul Nicholson, Blair Burton, and Ken Edmonds. And after we, I spoke with them, they give me two options. They said, number one, how much money you have? I said, we say we have only $140. He said, well, I have two options. If you want to go to Me back to Mexico, I'm going to give you some money. But if you stay here, I'm going to help you. And we pray, and we decide to stay here. And now is where we am. It's why, <clears throat> you know, we're here. Uh, a lot of things happen on these years. And, uh, but God is good. What's on God's plans, and it's why we're here. And you've been with Paul's Pest Control as a, like one in management, I guess, for quite a few years. Yes, I, I've been there since day one, you know, almost 22 years. But I was working on the outside, on the lawn, because I was speaking English. But then they put me in 19 years ago, and I've been a uh, term supervisor for about 11 years, and I've been working with them. So they've been nice people, great okay. people, and, right. you know, it's, it's been a bless. Well, when Enrique, uh, when we talked to him seriously, uh, oh, I guess it's been a couple of months ago, Enrique asked the question to Brendan and myself, why, why would you pick me? <laughs> yes. Why would you pick me? And uh, one of the first things we thought of was anybody that would volunteer their time for over six years to come every Saturday night, missed very few times. You had hip surgery, you had a wet, your daughter's wedding, that was a good excuse. Yes. And uh, a couple other times maybe, but we, we knew that if he volunteered, never got paid anything, that he had a heart for ministry. And uh, we knew a little bit about the background and uh, and we knew he, he does a great job on Saturday night. Now, Enrique, I, you speak a little fast on Saturday night in Spanish, but that's normal. Is that right? It's normal for us. Okay. Right. All right. <laughs> let me, uh, let's see. Let me give you something to read here. Well, just, just share a little bit of testimony in Spanish, how, how fast the Hispanic people talk. Can they, they can, you can understand, right? Yeah. Okay. All yes. right. Eso espero. I hope they understand me. You know? Yeah. <laughs> no, it, I will concern you, they don't understand my Spanish. You know? <laughs> no, lo que estaba diciendo es mi testimonio acerca de cómo llegamos aquí. Uh, Dios ha sido grande, llegamos aquí con 140 dólares, sin conocer a nadie, sin conocer la ciudad, sin tener trabajo, donde vivir. Pero Dios es bueno porque Dios puso en nuestros medios a una persona de nombre Paul Nicholson, que él fue el que nos ayudó para, para que nosotros podamos llegar a este lugar y que ya estaban los planes de Dios, quedarnos aquí. Y a, a partir de los años uno no entiende... Eh, Eh, lo que Dios tiene para nosotros y hoy lo estamos comprendiendo. All right. Y quiero gracias también. He did a good job, everybody. Claro, he did good. Muy all buen right. trabajo. All right. All right. It's still his All right. All right. Well, Enrique Yanis officially will start uh, on staff. Is it next Monday? Next Monday. Next Monday. And I have about three weeks to get everything in order and get ready to go on the air with Faith Radio. All Spanish Christian radio station in Tallahassee, Florida on 1070 AM. Amen. Thanks God for that. I'm getting a little emotional, Rike. Oh, me too. <laughs> me too because it's law. It's God. It's God, thank you, sir. It's God things and and again I want to say thank you, thank Faith Radio, thank to all the people support. Yeah. Thank the Medina family, my sister Veronica, my wife Marcella. Uh, thanks for, uh, thanks God, thanks for my pastor, Gary yeah. Linton, and thanks for everybody, all the people listening. Well, folks, you pray for Enrique. He's going to be the, the Spanish director of Faith Radio, officially going on the air Monday, June 13th at 6 a.m. on 1070 a.m. And on the Internet, with, you'll be hearing the announcements. Here's kind of a sample song that they'll hear on 1070 AM in just a few weeks. God bless you folks. Thank you. Thank you.